to myself for my 23rd birthday is to do something that I've always wanted to do as a kid which was have some type of garden I do remember at my grandmother's house I planted like watermelon seeds but nothing ever happened no one ever taught me how to do anything so I'm excited we're gonna be going to Home Depot to get all the supplies and then later in the video you're gonna see me putting everything together on the balcony so if you like me and you like what you're seeing go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for the rest of the video Okay, so we do have like mini turf. Okay, mini turf. I want to get turf. Oh, you didn't see the thing up there? I saw the little things, but I didn't know if it was like a pre water type of situation. So a lot of the plants that they have available are already like, they're not seeds. They're already started, they're already sprouted. Which I think will be smart to do instead of like starting off from scratch. So they have the herbs that I want. I'll go ahead and put a list of the stuff that I want for the garden. Um, but this looks like the herbs. I'm trying to find sweet bell peppers would be smart because I use bell peppers in a lot of stuff. So, so far, we have the base necessities. We have our soil, our basin, plant food, artificial turf, because it's just for aesthetics. We'll figure out how it all gets arranged later. But I did look up all the plants that are good for this time of the year. And because I live in Vegas, that's a big thing. We're in a desert. So I'm thinking of getting, when it comes to edible plants, I want cucumber. And I saw that they had some bell peppers in there, which makes sense because I use bell peppers in a lot of the stuff that I make. So I'll probably do cucumber, bell peppers, and a fruit. I didn't see many fruits that I had on my list, but they do have strawberries right now. And I'm kind of tempted to do strawberries. And then for herbs, I want to do um, a lemon herb I saw one over there so instead of doing peppermint I'm gonna do a lemon herb rosemary and then chamomile I didn't see chamomile but if they don't have it I'll just switch it out for something else and then I have on my list marigold which is a flower that's in season right now so that's gonna be separate from what we have going on in the basin so yeah that's it we're about to go pick up the herbs and then I think after that just picking up the flower and the pot and then we're I think we'll be done at Home Depot. Some people like it. Some people, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Somebody does. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, they must be going out. Oh, I forgot that is happening. Okay, friends. We are back at the house 
and I wanted to give you guys like a little haul per se so right now this is my plant like everyday essentials watering can I got some plant food I had a spray bottle because I know for some plants you have to spray shovel gloves then we go to this section which is like <laughs> all of the decorations I got these wooden planks for you know identifying and stuff and so for those I'm going to be making some labels and then I got these magnets because I am going to put a net over the basin um, and we need some magnets to kind of keep everything secure so we're gonna hope that these are um, strong enough then over here like that we have the basin the plant food we also have these artificial turf that I'm gonna lay out on the balcony I hope I have enough and then these are the babies the plants so I need to make note of all the plants that I got I'm gonna probably do a little bit of research because it was a last-minute decision to get this stick and the plan is to put it in the middle of the basin and have the net around it to protect the plants um, I just have to figure out how exactly I should use this because it's basically a, um, a deep drip watering stake, which I didn't plan on getting, but why not? See how that goes. Um, and then, yeah, we ended up going to three different stores. So this is the netting, that bird netting that we got from Home Depot. But then this one we got from the 99 cent store, which was only $1.29 or like 99 cents. So... If this ends up being okay, I'm just going to return this one and get my money back. So for the sake of time, I don't want this video to be too long. So I think I'm just going to chill on the couch, watch some YouTube, some Ron Mango, um, and do all of like the aesthetic stuff, do some more research. And then you all will probably see me next when we're upstairs on the balcony getting everything all tidied up. Like I'm excited. It's finally happening. while it's like a tad bit quiet we're now in the balcony the first thing i need to do is lay out the towel turf and then put up my little welcome sign and then after that you're probably just going to get a lot of b-roll footage of me putting together the entire garden um yeah that sounds like the plan Okay, everyone turf has been installed I still have like this much of my patio left but that's fine so we have turf 
the basin. And then I added this cute little welcome sign. Right? It's coming together. Okay. So now I'm going to go downstairs and grab the rest of the decorations and stuff. And then we're going to put this oil in. I'm excited. Okay. I'm trying to figure out which angle is the best for y'all. Alright. At least there you can see me. So let me see if I can put you all in the corner. And I'm gonna lower you. Okay. So right now, I have my gloves, shovel, water, and soil. We're about to start filling the basin up. I think halfway and then yeah we're kind of playing we're playing this by ear so my camera by the way doesn't have um what is it called an angle so I, it's i can't like do a downward angle unfortunately so this is the best that i have for y'all oh, i knew these would be too freaking i mean they fit but they're small okay I can't believe this is happening. Like I get, I get more and more excited as I'm doing this. Uh, make sure it's up. Okay, so right now we are at the final step. Essentially, there is more like little decorations, but I'll show that at the very end. But we have our plants here and we're about to place them in the basin. Like I stated before, I did get some labeling. So I have my marigolds already potted. So we have strawberries. You see that these labels came out super freaking cute <sighs> mini cucumbers lemon balm spearmint bell peppers regular cucumbers I ended up picking up two different types of cucumbers I feel like it's the same thing but just for planting sake I was like let me make them two separate labels and then we have rosemary so yeah let's get to the final step I think I am going to just go ahead and do all the manual labor and then I'll check back with you all when we are final finally finished and 
I don't know I feel like it hasn't hit me yet that I'm actually doing this and it's working out how I wanted in my head a lot of people kept asking me like Kayla what do you want for your birthday and stuff like that and like I don't know I saw something on Instagram recently that was like do choose to do things that makes your your inner child happy and this is definitely one of those things and I'm so happy and grateful that I'm at a place in my life where I can do that for myself so yeah let's finish this up because the helicopters are coming <laughs> You all, this is how it turned out. Like, this is so dope. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little balcony transformation. I know I certainly did. And if you want to, <laughs> definitely go over to my Instagram and give me a birthday shout out. I will be working <laughs> for my birthday, but I will also be going out to dinner. So if you want to go over to my Instagram, give me a quick little happy birthday. You can also follow me on there. I will be posting my birthday outfits and how that goes. So yeah. Thank you all for tuning into this week's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.